Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video we are going to discuss about a very important Azure PowerShell command that is select Azure subscription. Okay, so this command can basically help you to set and clear your current and the default Azure subscription, right? So basically if you want, say you have multiple subscriptions, okay, if you want to make a default one or if you want to clear it and set your current subscription as a different one that you can do that with this particular command right so as part of this video tutorial what we are going to discuss is we are going to discuss about the syntax and the usage of this particular command along with certain examples of how to use this command okay so let's start with a quick demo let me open windows powershell isc with run as administrator mode now we can use this particular command to set as the current subscription okay so if you want to set one particular subscription as your current subscription how you are going to do this okay so let me take that command from here i have already written that so i will copy it from here so in this way you can specify okay so you have to specify the main command select as your subscription then current and then subscription name current is you are setting it as the current subscription okay then which subscription you are going to set it as your current one that is visual studio enterprise right the subscription name you have to specify here okay so in this way you can set the specified subscription as your current subscription right so let me execute this particular command okay so you can able to see it is executed successfully and there is no error or any there is no issues right so that means it now your current subscription is this particular subscription right whatever you have specified right so another thing is if you want to set the specified subscription as the default subscription okay if you want to make this subscription as a default one how you are going to do that okay so that you can do in this way i will just copy this command so instead of current you have to specify default okay then uh, this subscription name you have to specify which subscription you want to make it default right so in case you have multiple subscription and you want to choose one particular subscription as a default one during that time this command will be helpful right so you can set it as a default once and after that you can use it right so let me execute this command you can able to see we were able to so i mean set this one as a default subscription right okay so this is okay so i have also written a separate article on this particular command okay if you uh, want these commands and all you can copy from that article right that article link i am going to put it on the video description you can take it from there okay so this is what for today i thought to show you how to use this particular command so here we have discussed the syntax and the usage of this particular command and if you like the video kindly subscribe to our channel and you will get lots of free videos on different Azure articles as well as different Azure PowerShell commands. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.